Yes, good morning. Barry Croft of Delaware faces multiple charges, including kidnapping conspiracy and conspiracy to use a weapon of mass destruction. And now we're getting a closer glimpse of why. This video allegedly shows Barry Croft Jr., one of the men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer, training with a semi-automatic rifle in Wisconsin. It's part of the evidence used in Croft's detention hearing where the judge ruled he remain in custody without bond until his trial in October. These images of Croft also released after a coalition of media outlets, including WXYZ's parent company Scripps, petitioned the court for their release. One showing Croft with a We the People tattoo propping up a Boogaloo flag, another holding a tactical shotgun, and another of Croft's modified rifle former U.S. prosecutor and Jolly Prasad. If I'm the prosecutor, I'm submitting the photographs because I'm saying, look, Judge, this guy is dangerous. Look at his guns, look at his video, look at his text messages. Now, the defense attorney is good in me is going to say, wait, hold on a minute. The photographs are a bit silly. The reality of our world is people enjoy their guns and they post videos and pictures of their guns every day and that is not a crime. The attorney for Croft telling 7 Action News quote the detention hearing occurred several months ago before we had an opportunity to investigate the government's claims. We are looking forward to presenting all of the facts to a jury this fall in quote. In my opinion the only item that enhances the prosecution's case is the text messages. Part of that text thread, an image of a highway bridge near the governor's vacation home that the group allegedly planned to blow up. Croft's criminal history may also play a factor. He spent nearly three years in prison for a 1997 firearm conviction. Other convictions included assault, burglary, theft, and receiving stolen property, which were pardoned by Delaware's governor in 2019. If I have one person who has a violent past, that person is not going to get the benefit of the doubt. And I think nine times out of 10, you're going to have a judge who wants to err, err on the giant side of safety. Now, Croft is one of five men accused awaiting trial. He faces the possibility of life in prison if he's convicted. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Many people watching this case. Thank you for that update, Darren.